Okay, guys, I'm excited to show you that I am going to convert my new Inco Tank 15,000 with Cosmos Sublimation Ink. And I'm going to turn this printer into a sublimation printer. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you could turn this Eco Tank 15,000 into a sublimation printer. Now, I am using the Cosmos ink. Now, when I first started sublimation about seven years ago, I invested in this small company called Cosmos Inc. And now he is so big and I love his ink. I haven't tried no other ink before, so I cannot tell you that other inks are better. But all I can say is that his ink is affordable. It's really awesome. He has a Facebook group. If you go there, you can learn so much on how to set up your printers. And if there's something with it that's wrong or a way that you can fix it. So let me unbox this and we'll get started turning this into a sublimation printer. I have two sublimation printers. I have a 7610 and a 2800. Now the 2800, it works good. Lately, I've been seeing that my pinks are a little bit more red, so I gotta work on it and see what's wrong with it. But my 7620, it, that's what it is, 7620, not 7610. My 7620, it does not read the cartridges. So I'm not sure what, I think I'm just going to order another set of cart brand new cartridges and hopefully it will read it. I never updated the machine and it is a, it while it lasted, it was like the best 13 by 19 printer. So... In this box, you get a CD driver. If you don't have a CD uh, slot, like I do, I don't have one. Um, you go on to the Epson.com and download the driver from there. And now you get the power cord. And three inks. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Put these inks on the side put them up, give them away, use them to refill your other inks. It don't matter what number it is. If if it's an eco tank, you could put these inks in there. So, do not, like I said, do not use these inks. Do not try to attempt to put these in your printer. So I'm gonna put this on the side and now I'm gonna take the printer out of the box and I'll be right back. Okay, so I took my print out of bag. Now, I like the size, guys. It is not as big as my 7620. The thing about it is that I could put this right on my table. I really like how small it is. Now, guys, everything that they make now is made out of plastic, so you got to be careful. The reason why I'm replacing this is because on one of my other printers, the 7610, I had a little plastic clip that broke off, and it was just my regular printer, and it was the sensor to uh, tell you to close the scanner door was open or the scanner door was uh, closed, open and closed, and that came off, and I called the support they can't help me. There's nothing they can do about it. And, you know, I'm upset because right now that is just a paperweight. It's really only good for parts. But I wish I could find the part that I need. It would be so much better to install back. Because that printer was awesome. So now I'm going to take all this tape off. And they definitely got this tape on good. Wow, that's a lot of tape. 
okay so i think i got all the tape out from there now guys you can put this in the printer but do not plug it in yet you do not want to plug it in until it, you have already refilled your inks okay so now i'm in the inside and you want to take out all these things there is definitely a lot of tape in here guys <laughs> and then i think i got one last one and it's to take out this foam piece Okay, so now we're here. We got all the tape off. And now, the next step is to plug it in. Oh, I still got tape in the back. Okay, so I took the rest of the tape off. My God, it was a lot of tape. But I'm glad that they, they secured it good. And now, I want to plug in into the back of the printer. Okay, so I got that plugged in. In the back of the machine. Do not plug it into the power supply. Not yet. So now, we are going to refill... this now i have the eco tank sublimation refills for the 502 and it comes like this and he also sells sublimation paper which i haven't got my hands on but i'm getting ready to order it and try it out because the a sub paper is good and sometimes the images don't come out as great so i'm gonna go And I'm going to start with the black color. Now, you do not want to shake this, okay? So, all you want to do is lift it up. Look for your color. And now, I'm not sure if he has this sealed. So, let me check. Yep, it is sealed. So, now you want to unseal it. Let me add, put some gloves on. Got to get your gloves. Now you want to add the cap back on. And unscrewed the cap. Now, I have other sublimation ink that's that's his. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep these bottles because this has the right attachment that I need to refill when I need it. If I run out of this. So now I'm going to add the black and it says black. Make sure that is the right color now, okay? And now... It's filling up slowly. Do you hear it? While I'm waiting on that one, I'm going to come in with my blue one and I'm going to do the same. Take the cap off. Ooh, you see why I put gloves on? Now you want to take your cap and screw it back on. And then unscrew the top cap. Okay, so now that it's all full. Hardly no ink left, so I'm going to go... And put this cap back on. 
Now we're done with the black. I'm going to close the cap. And now I'm going to open up the scion. And here goes my bottle already be put down. So now I'm just going to turn it over. And we're going to put it in. And now it is going to fill up. While it's filling up, I'm going to get my next color. Okay, I'm going to screw my cap back on. And I'm going to unscrew the lid and get ready to do the red. Okay, so now I am done with the blue. Gonna put the blue on the side and now I'm coming in with my magenta. Now for the magenta, I want to, I already took the cap off and everything and now I'm gonna twist it over and let that fill up. Now I'm gonna come in with my last one and we're gonna uncap it, break the seal and now I'm gonna add my cap back on. Uncap it, make sure it's twisted on, and we're done with the magenta. Gonna take my cap, put that back on, clean up any mess that you got, if there is. Now we're gonna close this up, and we're gonna open up the yellow. And now we're going to insert the yellow. Now my yellow one is all done. And now I'm going to put the lid back on. And if you have to clean up anything, now's the time. Okay. So now I'm going to close that down. I'm done with the glove. Okay, now that I got all my ink inside the printer, my sublimation ink, not the regular ink, my sublimation ink. Now, I'm going to close my lid. I have everything down. I'm going to plug in my machine now. I'm going to go and add some paper. And now I'm going to press the power button. And then lift this up. First thing it says is language, English. And this is touch screen, USA. It is winter. Do the month, day, and year, and 12-hour format, and then I'm going to press OK. You put the time in. Now it's processing. So the machine has a start here that appears on your monitor. You press the question mark for five seconds, and then the next step happens. Confirm that the ink tanks are filled. And this setup is going to take 10, about 10 minutes. Okay, so it finished. And now it says, move to the print quality adjustments. It says, align the printer to get the breast printer. Adjust recommended. Perform a head nozzle check to print the quality. Let's print. 
letter size nozzle check print. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, I got some lines missing, so I'm going to do the X. And I'm gonna add this back in here so I can reuse that same paper. I'm gonna press start. And I'm trying to set up the Wi-Fi. Here goes the alignment paper. Now finish the process as later. what your machine tells you to, step by step. Okay, so our printer, it is, guess what? A sublimation printer now. So now what I want to do, I want to get a sublimation paper and I want to do a print real quick to see how it looks. And it says, congratulations, you have successfully installed your new printer. And I put it on backwards. Okay, guys. So we're going to press continue. Now it's connecting to printer. Okay, I got a piece of ASAP paper right here. Put this in. Okay, so now I'm going to press print. I printed it on the wrong side of the paper. So then I went and reprinted and look at how good that looks. <sighs> I'm ecstatic. So guys, there goes how to convert the ET, Espen ET 15,000 into sublimation. And the print quality is amazing. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you find this very informational, give me a like, thumbs up, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And guys, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye now. I'm excited because there's no more piecing two pieces of paper together. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. Come and join me up on my Facebook group. It is called Crafty Peep Sanctuary. Find me on there and I'll click you guys in so you can join our group. So, you know, I'm working my way around it. But guys, come on down and join us. You never know what we do. Bye now. Okay, let's press this. 460 seconds. There goes the image. Put it face down. Close the butcher paper. And let's press. Ooh. Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. It pretty much took all the ink off. But look at how vibrant that is. 
Okay, guys. Converting a eco tank 15,000 into a sublimation.